So we're getting to work today. It's our Renault Girls Special. We are starting outdoors. If any of your summer projects involved wood, Sharon Gregg has you covered, of course. So Sharon, come on in here and let's start by you telling us about the adorable Bunky that you have added to your space because we already know about your tiny cabin, yeah. <laughs> but now you've got a Bunky in, uh, at your property up north. Yes, well with the 250 square feet of the cabin, we finally needed some more space where our guests don't have to camp. Right. <laughs> so we, over last summer, we bought and built a Bunky Life Kit. And it was Amazing. awesome. I mean, it was a lot of fun. We had to plan a little bit in advance the site. We built the base. But it was really, um, it came delivered to our site in pre-cut pieces. Oh, wow. With a nice big installation manual. And you yeah. can get lots of YouTube videos as well. So we were honestly able to build it in a long weekend. So it was off. We had help from friends, absolutely. But it was something that we were able to do. And it was a lot of fun. You know, the kids were uh, were helpful. I was pretty much the cook. Um, I stayed yes. away from it. But it was a really great, uh, really great project. And I think that the whole idea of having that extra space has made such a difference. So I'm just really happy about that. <laughs> I'm so not that person, but I love to watch your family be those people. Like, I love to follow everything you're doing in the bunkie, and the kids are so good, and it's just such a beautiful vibe. It's so wholesome. I love that you did that and built it yourself. I'm just yeah. impressed. So let's talk a little bit about the exterior, because yeah. there's some staining involved in the bunkie and Absolutely. we want to talk a little bit about what your options are Absolutely. so why don't we go so over here you, you do um have to think about the finish that you're going to use and because it was a brand new it was brand new wood yes. it's actually kiln dried spruce which is awesome because it's practically ready to stain or paint right away because it's already dried so you just have we waited six weeks but what? normally you know when i'm telling people with new wood wait a season wait a year because oh, the wood no. needs to dry out and be ready to accept the sting so in this case i was able to do it i think six weeks later yeah. and i had lots of options anything from translucent all the way to solid but because of the site and because i love the view yes. um, and I love the trees and, and the lake. I didn't really want the bunkie to stand out. Yeah. So I decided to go with a solid and nice dark sort of gray green and that just kind of blends in so it camouflages and it's perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. When you've got nature as your backdrop, right? make sure that you're just <laughs> blending into that space, which is beautiful. So all the different sorts of stains you can have out there. And my goodness, we get viewers asking us all the time, where yeah. do I go? And you know, my husband even asked you last summer. Absolutely. Sharon, what do I do when I'm staining the fence? So let's talk about what the options are when it comes to stain. Okay, so it's important to think about the condition of your wood. So we're going to start yes. with the translucent. And translucent is what you want to use, or it's an option yeah. that you can use when your wood is in really good condition yeah. and it's new because it's just got it has protection in it but it just has a little bit of pigment and it's yeah. really inspired by natural wood species so you've got silver gray when your wood naturally grays yeah um, we've got natural cedar teak mahogany and redwood so again it's a penetrating stain you're gonna have to redo it every couple of years mm. but because it penetrates it's it's you know it's pretty it's not gonna peel or anything it's gonna go well, into the wood good. but it's really important to think about the type of wood because and the and the condition that it is in because it's gonna show everything up yes. right it's just a little thin layer of color so it's it's translucent it's just a thin layer I love the mahogany Mahogany. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Let's move down to semi-transparent. Okay. So semi-transparent, you get a little bit more color and yeah. you actually have more options. So we only have six Ooh. in the translucent, but yeah, you can get away from just the wood tones and you yeah. can get into some greens and some blues, some darker colors, but you're still seeing the beautiful wood grain. So for yeah. people who love to see that wood grain and the product itself is a little bit, um, it's a little bit thinner than paint. So if you're not used to working with it, you can kind of see, okay. This is a really tiny brush. You really you should be using these. those. You need one of these but, bigger brushes. Right, you need one of those bigger brushes, but I thought since I'm using these little samples, which yeah. are really important to, to try out your color, you can see. So you can Cute. sort of see how your, those knots are visible. Everything's yeah. gonna be visible. So keep that in mind, but make sure that you pick a color that you like. Yes, go ahead. But if you want to go a little more, like if you're trying to hide things a little more and have a little bit more color, semi-solid. Then semi-solid is the I way I like to go. that. Isn't that nice? A lot of the uh, a lot of the crew here today were talking about how they, this yeah. is sort of their favorite. So it's beautiful. you go from here, you go to semi-solid. This is the same color trace. This is blue note. Oh. Uh, blue note in semi-solid and again it just goes on the same way use a brush and that's something we're not going to talk too much about application today yeah. but you want to use a brush because you want to push the stain into the wood 
because these are penetrating stains, so you don't yeah. want them to sit on top of the surface like you would with paint. Yeah. This, you want to push it in. So if you're lazy and you, oops, if you're lazy <laughs> and you want to use a roller or anything like that, make sure you go over it with a brush just to push it in like that. Beautiful. But you can see that and it's a nice And whenever you finish. say things like, if you're lazy, I'm like, my ears perk up. <laughs> yes, what do I do? Okay, so you can use the roller, but it's not advisable. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And some people will say, absolutely not. I love the look of wood. I am not going solid. I happen to like solid. But when would yeah. you say you should use a solid stain? Solid is amazing when your wood is not in great shape. Yeah. You know, when you're thinking, this is the last legs before I have to tear it down and start new. Yeah. Or you've got just some new pieces of wood, some old pieces of wood. Because it's almost like paint in the sense that it covers... Um, it covers up really well, but you still get the beautiful texture you do. of the wood. Yep. So you can see it kind of goes on like, oh, I, I love working with solid, I got to say. Like, I love working with solid. So you see, it covers, but leaves the texture of the wood. Yeah. So it hides imperfections. And the real benefit, I think, is that you can choose any of the 3,500 colors and more. Which okay. is amazing. So you've got all of the colors at your uh, disposal. At your disposal. Anything else we need to think about when you are doing exterior stains? Okay. When you're painting wood, staining wood, anything, it's got to be 100% dry. Yes. Like wait dry, at dry, least dry. two days, super dry. Yeah. It, you want it to be clean, okay? Like okay. you want it to be clean so that the stain can actually penetrate into the wood. Yeah. Um, and again, you want to make sure you test it out because these samples that keep falling down here. <laughs> <laughs> this is cedar. Yeah. So you can see how cedar looks quite Quite a bit different from pine, which yes. I use just because it's already dry, it was easier to stain. Yeah. Um, but it's going to look different. Your semi-transparent color is going to look very different on this than it is on this. So yeah. pick up a tester in whatever color finish you want and try it out on your own wood. Get the testers, everyone. Sharon, that's such a good lesson.